Ray, welcome back. Good to Thank have you. you here. Thank you. And I'm happy to be here today. And you're cooking up a tuna gravlax, yes, which sir. I, I have never tasted a tuna gravlax. Well, I know gravlax is a very popular dish. Some people might be surprised to know it's a, a Nordic dish. But uh, here we're going to uh, kind of take it into the, uh, uh, is it specific uh, tuna? It, uh, he, uh, well, it's a tuna, it is specific tuna. Okay, and, so uh, uh, it's really rare to see tuna grab locks. People usually make salmon, but we decided to take the next step. And Sounds like it would be great. Yeah, absolutely great. great. Yeah. So we're going to do here to cure. It's really e easy and simple to do at home. We're going to use about one quarter of a cup of uh, salt and uh, about a quarter of a cup of sugar. And those are two of the main ingredients yeah, in main ingredients. Locks, right? You yes, got, sir. You got to do sugar that. Sugar and salt. Mm -hmm. We got uh, the zest of one lemon. Oh, that's kind of different. Dude. And we got some freshly ground black pepper. Nice. And we're going to just mix it in here really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And we're just going to coat the tuna really good. You got to pat it, put it everywhere, make sure you get a lot of it. You think it's going to be salty, but it needs salt. <laughs> so this differs a little bit, it looks like, though you may surprise me later on, a little bit from the classic gravlax in that you're not going to be using dill in this recipe. No, I'm not using dill in this recipe. It's okay. a whole different. We're using uh, lemon zest, and it just gives you a really nice scent. Yeah, I love that really idea. Really good. Yeah, yeah, sounds great. This right over here, and you're gonna have to have some plastic wrap to uh, wrap it in. Mm -hmm. This is what we're gonna do right here. You just gotta wrap it as tight as you can. Make it really nice and tight. It's really easy and simple. It's a little messy too. <laughs> and what are the safety concerns in uh, in uh, curing your own fish? How long do you have to let it cure before? Well, this is what you do. You got how? Yeah, obviously you need about two plates, and mm -hmm. and you just have to. Put another plate on top and put some weight on it and let oh. it sit in your fridge for about 12 to 24 hours with the weight on. Okay. And then you just take it off, flip it, and about 12 to 24 hours more. Okay. And then it's ready to go. So you need a couple of days uh, in advance when you yes. prepare this yeah, dish you to do. make sure it's right. Okay. And once you take it out of the unwrap it, you might want to wash it in cold water, rinse it off really good. Get the salt off yeah, of it? Yeah, all the salt off. Pat it down with a, a towel. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, all you have to do is put some olive oil, and this is what we have right here. That's how it comes out? Yeah, that that's how looks it comes out. beautiful. Yes, oh, my sir. gosh, that looks gorgeous. And cut a little piece here. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. And how See would how you nice? normally serve the grab Well, this is how we're going to serve it today. Yes? We have this uh, salad right here. I'm going to use this same bowl right here because I think I forgot to bring the other one. Right. And clean, uh, it clean as you go, right? Yeah, that's what I, I believe going to be that. salty. <laughs> Oh, uh, we got some nice vegetables here. Okay. We got some uh, tomatoes. This is a green papaya over here. Really neat. Fennel. Nice huh. fennel. And we got a little bit of radish. Nice. And cilantro. And this, and this time we're using a little bit of vinaigrette we made. It's uh, miso vinaigrette. You have the recipe. Mm -hmm. On our website. Yeah, on the website is the recipe. And just, you don't want to put too much of this vinaigrette because it's a little strong. Okay. So it might overpower the tuna. Mm -hmm. So just don't put too much of it. Just a little, a little bit is enough. And it looks like, uh, I'm and guessing you have a little kind of a Dijon yeah. over there or something? We have um, anchovy aioli. Oh, it's really good. Wow. It goes really good with the tuna. Oh, yeah. man, this sounds fantastic. There we go. That's what we're going to do here. So while you plate this up, I want to remind everybody yeah. that the recipes for all of this is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Go on our, uh, on our website there and click on the dining button. It'll take you right there with all the video instructions here from Chef Ray, as well as uh, the shopping list. And oh my goodness, that looks good. Nice we have a final there. product here already done up. Can we get a shot of that? And uh, we'll show you exactly what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. No? Okay. Well, there we go. It's, uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and I'll tell you what. Uh, thank you for coming in. I can't thank wait you. to try this. Thank Some you. Neat it's ideas delicious to help you enjoy. Chef Ray thank from you. Table Creekside, thank you very much, sir. Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it.